Hey folks, it is Saturday morning. I just got done planting some plants. I wanted to do a little update video because something was completed this week that I'm very excited about. Let me show you. You see that fence? See it? There's a gate there that's open. And it goes all the way around the property. All the way back to there where our drain field is. And it goes around. Now, this is only a five foot fence. But it'll make it a little less likely that the deer hop in here. Makes it a little bit harder, so maybe they won't jump over? I don't know. There's one right down the road right now, so I guess we'll find out. There's one right there. Eating the blackberries. No. Anyhow, since I now have a somewhat deer resistant yard, I planted some hostas and some, oh my god, I know hydrangeas in my little tree ring. My clematis died out of nowhere. It just, I mean, this happened in like a day. I don't know what happened to it, but I'm gonna cut it back and move it and, uh, Maybe it'll be a better location for it. But these hydrangeas will get very large. The hostas will fill out a bit more, but they're about as tall as they're gonna get. But they'll, you know, more plants will form around them. By the time the hydrangeas are big enough to overshadow these guys, I'll be able to divide them up and move them to other areas of the garden. Yeah. Just some uh, royal, royal something hosta. I'll put the name down at the bottom whenever I have it. And then just some regular hydrangeas. Hydrangea color normally, very often, depends on the acidity of your soil. Um, this bed is under Some sort of evergreen tree. I don't know what kind this is. I don't know my evergreens. <laughs> but because it's under that, the soil is rather acidic. Um, so these hydrangeas will likely be blue, purple color. And that's what I was going for. That's what I was hoping for anyhow, because it really works well with the white. Um, so yeah excited about that. Of course there's a ton of crocuses planted in here as well so in the spring all the crocuses come up before these guys start making their appearance. So it'll be pretty. I also have bleeding hearts in there but they're done for the year so I cut them back already and they're more of an early late spring early summer bloomer anyhow. Yeah I like the way it looks. It's pretty pretty. The kitty does as well. Boom. There's Kiki. Hey, Kiki. My fuchsias are just so happy. Those are the ones I bought at Fuchsia Days. There's only three starts in each one of those baskets. <laughs> they're just, oh, they're so happy. And I love them. The hummingbirds love them too. I'm gonna walk back here and show off something I just got this week as well. Um, I'm watering this front bed, so I have to be kind of careful. I don't want to get watered too. Um, I've been trying to create kind of a bird sanctuary over on the opposite side of my yard from my actual garden, because I really don't want them in my garden. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I don't. I'm like, you guys can eat the pests, but please don't eat the fruits. But you know how that is. They don't really listen. Um, but yeah, I added something back here for the birdies, and let me show you. 
There's my mock orange that'll now be fully protected by these from these stinking deer. So it'll finally be able to really grow. Just watered it. This right here is what I just got. It's a little bird bath, and it's so cute. It's got a little a little sleeping gnome under it. In there, and I'll throw one of my mosquito dunks in there if it starts becoming an issue. And, uh, yeah, there's my bird feeder, which I have to refill. But now there's food and a little bath for him. That's cute. And uh, this area back here, we put privacy fence up instead of just the black um, chain link. That way, we can't see the neighbors as well, right next door. <laughs> No offense, neighbors, but your dogs are really loud and annoying, so, fence. Yeah. Little chickadee flying around. But yeah, since I, uh, since we got this fence installed, oh, I don't know how to get out of here. Okay. Now I need to figure out what to do with this area because now I kind of like it. <laughs> so, it's a lot of rocks, so I'll probably do a lot of pots. Oh look, someone left their cigarettes. Oh look, and there's two in there. <laughs> oh goodness me, I guess the fencing guys left these. I don't smoke cigarettes, they stink. But yeah, so now I have to figure out what to do with this area. Now that it's such a cool little area. I'll just get some big pots and grow something. It's the east side of my house and there's like tall trees that shade it. So it stays shady pretty much all day long. It gets morning sun and that's it. I don't know what I'll put here, but there's a lot of different things I can go with. So it's exciting. Something's in the wood. The cat can hear it. But yeah, since it's all rocks over here, what I'll probably do is um, just put down more landscaping fabric on top of everything and add more rocks. Um, just because it's, it'd be such a pain. I'd have to dig all the rock up if I actually want to do anything with the soil. I don't want to do that. So, I'll probably just cover it all up again and put a bunch of pots over here. I'll have to get some uh, drip irrigation going though before I do that because I will totally forget to water over here. <laughs> yep, yeah, sorry, Kitty. It's pretty neat. Everything's coming together. Uh, one more thing that we're going to be doing this year is all this um, bare dirt we have to seed. Um, John, my husband spent a lot of time and a lot of money bringing in all this dirt so he doesn't want it to get washed away, obviously, when the rains start in the fall. So, it's a lot of space. I didn't want grass. I wanted to plant just a whole bunch of clover and wildflowers and just make it all beautiful. But John wanted to plant grass. So we compromised and we're planting both. I found a really cool mix of seed online that was a bunch of like wildflowers, like low growing, like three to four inches tall max wildflowers, um, clover, and some grass seed. And um, we're gonna seed the whole area with it. It's gonna be like a meadow instead of a yard very excited. It's going to be so freaking cool. Mm. Wasn't cheap seed either, so I really hope it works and I really hope it takes off. <sighs> but it's going to be so pretty. I'm going to get some sort of like picnic table for over there under the, um, those trees, whatever those are called. I forget. I don't, I don't know trees, y'all. Sorry. Everything else is going really well. You know, my, one of my camellias has died. The, the clematis died, but everything else is happy. Um, I have some zucchini that I'm gonna have to pick soon. Let me show this off real quick. Bunch of them down in there. And then 
this one right here is just about ready to come out. I let my broccoli go wild <laughs> because I accidentally let it go too far, just a little bit too far, and I was like, you know what, I'll just let them go wild because they are so pretty, and I figured the flowers would bring more pollinators to the area. And sure enough, it has worked. Everything has been pollinated. Um, you see one of my little goldfish down in there? See that gold? You can barely see it. Maybe if I get closer. Whoops, he darted away. <laughs> my moms are starting to come back from last year. My sunflowers are ridiculously tall. <laughs> this is me, standing on level ground. <laughs> and they're starting to form their flower heads. So, they probably won't bloom until sometime in October. But look how tall they are. Oh, it's crazy. They're called Pike's Peak sunflowers. Alright, then I'm going to show you off my little watermelon and cantaloupe area and then I'll call this video good. They are really spreading out over the trellising I put up. But I still don't see any like fruits. So I don't know. I don't know y'all. I guess we'll find out. It looks cool either way. So I'm happy. And yeah, that's it really for today. There's my pond. Hi, pond. Oh, I got a new plant for it. I actually have two plants that I'm supposed to get in the mail, but they've been lost in the mail. They were supposed to arrive on the 10th, and like, it's way past that, and USPS has quit updating the tracking on it. It just says, it's in our network, and it's going to be delivered, but... They're live plants, and they've been in the mail in the heat for over a week. So they're going to be dead if they ever do get here. I'm kind of upset about that. The girl on Etsy is like, well, you should talk to your post office. So I'm like, ooh, we're going to have some issues here. <sighs> Hopefully she shipped them insured. But anyhow, <sighs> whatever. My mother said that she may send a water lily with my son when he comes back home anyhow so I'll have a water lily if I get one from that you know from the mail or not I'll have one uh, but the pickerel rush I picked up at Lowe's last week I potted it up got it in the water and it was just two really sad little leaves but it has done so well the pickerel rush is this one right here this middle guy and he's already put out two more leaves there's all sorts of happy green growth. The iris is doing all right. Doesn't know what to do. But it's got new a new fan that came out, so I know it's gonna be okay. And uh, yeah, pickle rush. It has um, it has tall purple blue spikes flowers. So I don't think it'll bloom this year. Uh, just because it won't really have time to get going before the cold sets in. But it'll be pretty next year. You know, this year it'll get good and, and settled into where it's living now. Yeah, it's exciting. I hate that I don't have my marsh skull cap and my day lily. Not day lily, water lily, but it's okay, you know, it happens. It's, I've had a lot of really good luck with Etsy. And of course, you know, Eventually, my luck was going to run out, and it happened. That's cool. Let's see if I can see these fish. I'm quite shy. I'm to see one right there. And there's a black one, and another black one. I've got a pot in there with a rock in it sideways, so they can uh, go in there if anything tries to eat them. They can kind of hide. Got a lot of food down there, too, because they ate all the... Mosquito larva, it's gone. I have no more mosquito larva. Now just fish and plants. It's pretty. All right, that's it then. 
Hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Thanks again for watching. Yeah, Vince, woo! So exciting. Y'all have a good one.